Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. What you see me doing here, dynamically pushing, pulling, and dragging on edges and surfaces to adjust a 3D model's geometry, is the kind of feature that is commonly associated with direct modeling programs like Space Claim, CoCreate, Solid Edge, or NX with synchronous technology from Siemens PLM software. But I happen to be in PTC's Pro Engineer Wildfire 5.0, a classic parametric modeling program. In this latest release, the software comes with a feature called Dynamic Editing. This is the first of a two-part video report, which will be followed later by a print review of the software. So look for it in DE Print Magazine. In this release, for any parametric features you have created, be it an extrusion, a blend, or a rounded corner, you can select it from the model tree, right-click it, then choose Dynamic Edit to activate that editing mode. Once you have done that, you get little drag handles. They look like tiny white diamonds. You can use them to drag around and control and adjust the features that you have just created. In fact, you could grab the entire feature, like this one here, and move it across a particular surface. In Wildfire 5.0, you can create a slanted rectangle directly. This lets you bypass the usual method of drawing a rectangle along a horizontal or a vertical axis, then rotating it to create a slanted rectangle. If you're used to working with user-defined features, which are ready-made features you can drop into your model again and again like 3D blocks, well, you'll find that uh, in this release, placing them on a surface gets a little bit easier. Here's how it works with this dialog box. Now I have a tendency to keep my models in line drawings instead of shaded mode if I can, just to conserve computing power and make them respond faster to my commands. Because of this habit, I usually prefer to keep a darker background to reveal the light color lines. So if you are like me and you'd like to adjust the system color schemes, here's how to do it in Wildfire 5.0. I find that in this release, if you're working with plastic part shell parts, you have quite a lot of sophisticated patterning tools to help you speed up the modeling task. Let's look at this one, for example. I'm going to duplicate this hole with a slanted edge right on the surface. Normally, you won't think of this as a patterning job, but here's how you might do it. You can select this feature, then tell the software to pattern it right on the surface, anchored on this predefined point, like this. If you want to pattern this extrusion along this surface, using this axis as the positioning pole, here's how you might do it. Well, that's it for part one of the two-part report. In part two, we'll look at Wildfire's trajectory ribs, its sheet metal environment, and a mannequin. Yes, a 3D human model. But he doesn't look anything like some of the 3D models you may have seen in the recent movie, so don't get too excited. 
Well, that's it. This is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering, signaling you to follow him to part two of this report.